Justin Lefkovich, uh, CEO and founder of Mirrored Media. Mirrored Media is an experiential marketing firm that creates high impact, enduring lifestyle campaigns specializing in music and entertainment. We help brands reach their target market through organic entertainment experiences. We basically create campaigns that are win-wins for both the brand, the talent, and the fans. We sit at this really interesting intersection. I think all of us, the entire team, have very unique perspective on stuff, everything from their past experience to what they do, go out nightly and do, and they all bring some really unique aspects to the table. And it's that when we all pull it together and see what comes out. I think that's what really helps us continue to innovate within our space, as well as just create really great projects internally. Kind of live and breathe this idea of creativity in its you know truest form, if you will. So when we're jumping into a new campaign, we really have the capacity to look at it from both sides. So we understand from the talent perspective, whether it's an influencer, whether it's a musician, kind of what they need from their end to make it successful, as well as from the brand side, we understand that language. We speak that marketer and advertiser language. So we understand what they need from their side. We're able to create this win-win environment where both parties walk away like as winners. And ultimately, the fans win because it's all for the fans anyways. It's Ultimately, that's that's what it's all about is creating a happy fan, creating something that that fan's going to share and engage with and really, you know, expand. It's creating, making that fan truly the influencer, making them promote for you. So really where we step in is coming up with out-of-the-box, buzzworthy ideas that are going to move the needle for that brand. And it's less of creating something that's like niche and, you know, uh, stunty and more something that's actually going to engage the audience and be true to that brand and ultimately that fan. Mirrored Media was founded in 2011. We continue to grow month after month here, quarter after quarter. We're a dozen employees here in our Santa Monica offices. We just got added to Event Marketers It List, which is the top 100 agencies, um, event marketing agencies, and we continuously are winning awards and recognition for our campaigns and creative. So we're just coming off of uh, festival season. We worked with a lot of different festivals and we always want to continue to grow the creative that we can do with those festivals, uh, working hand in hand with them and our brands. And I think as we continue to, to move forward, what's next for Mirrored is you know, we see a lot of movement within the influencer space. So continuing our work within the influencer marketing world, as well as you know just working with new brands that want to get really creative and do really full cohesive campaigns. We love the multi-month and year campaigns that really tell a story to capture this idea for that brand. So the inspiration for the company actually came when I was in school. So I went to Pepperdine University. When I was at Pepperdine, I met um, through chance a gentleman named Ray Kennedy, who's a singer-songwriter, uh, most well-known for his work with the Beach Boys. He wrote Sail on Sailor, most notably, and countless other catalog. Um, and I met him, and he re really just needed some, you know, uh, uh, a sidekick, if you will, someone to work with him and act as kind of a day-to-day -day manager. And I had no idea what I was doing. I had no experience in music at all at that point, you know, definitely not as a manager. But I uh, took on the challenge, why not? And I worked hand-in-hand -hand with him on everything from kind of day-to-day -day write stuff to actually creating creative with him around a TV show and around some charity concerts and everything else. And I had the amazing pleasure of working with some of the most well-known amazing artist at that time which I definitely did not appreciate at the time and um, kind of saw where the industry was at uh, and saw that's when the music industry was extremely volatile and uh, saw what was happening what the artists were feeling and had really candid conversations with artists of hey where do you think the industry is at and how could we make it better and everyone really had this sentiment of if you could bring humanity back to the industry from the artist standpoint, every artist would flock to you. And that's kind of where I looked at. I looked at what was happening in other assets of entertainment and sports and in movies where brands had really figured out how to market within that space and less market and really help to evolve the art form within movies, within all these other, by infusing capital and working with movies and TV to do product placements and other things that were organic and authentic to that model. Really, at that time, brands and music and entertainment seemed very, you know, sell-out-y. Like, it was a really big no-no for brands to work with, with, uh, with brands. And so I knew there was a way to make it work authentically, and it was coming up with that, figuring out how to do that. I came up with the idea, I wrote a business plan, submitted it to the Pepperdine business uh, plan competition, 
I went to the finals and I realized I actually had an idea uh, through chance as well. I met a gentleman, Steve Kofsky, um, who we're currently sitting in his uh, beautiful space with Hans Zimmer. And I met him, I came to the space here when I was in school, I met him and Hans and uh, they graciously, they loved what I was up to and they said, hey, when it's time for you to come back, Steve said, come back and we're waiting for you. He had a lot of passion for what he was doing and obviously, he had a, to me, he had a very, very good idea, but he believed in his idea. He, you know, he, had, he had a process and a concept of what he wanted, to, how he wanted to execute on the idea, but he was just full of passion and that was the key. To me, he was ahead of it was ahead of his years. You know what I mean? It was the person. At the end of the day, in any business, what do you have? You, you know, it's very seldom that you have a bad business. It's more about management. You know what I mean? And here, you, if you have good management, you're going to end up having a good business. And I felt that he would, you know, he was that guy. And but really, he had so much passion. I, I keep using that word because it was a that was the thing that hooked me. Is I think we're very lucky in the sense of we are in a position to pick our clients and pick the projects that we want to be a part of. So. We work with clients that we really vibe well with, clients that um, we feel that we can be a positive influence on, that listen to what we have to say and want to create something really dope and create something really creative. Some of our biggest moments to date have been, I mean, one of our first ones, which is you know one of our most exciting that I just love, was our Acura and Metric campaign. So we helped launch uh, Acura's brand new vehicle, the ILX, which was their first uh, entry-level vehicle and we did a year-long partnership with Metric around their album Synthetica which was very exciting. It went everything from a music video onto a uh, five like, five city underplay tour with this amazing art car installation that really told the story of what the album was about and it was the first of its kind underplay show with this brand attached to it where it was really I want to say covert, but it was really tastefully done. Metric, who doesn't really, you know, one of the largest independent acts and doesn't really do sponsorship. It was a really, really cool campaign that proved kind of what this was all about. And it went on to a really great digital campaign where it was all gamified, where fans got the chance to everything from see exclusive content to go on tour with the band. And then uh, ended with us giving away an Acura uh, and, and a full tour, which is incredible. And we worked with hundreds of artists, launched Mophi Music at South by Southwest, and went on to work with everyone from Coachella to Lollapalooza, uh, did work with tons of different acts, everyone from Pretty Lights and Metric to Benny Benassi and Capital Cities. Over the last few years, we've seen brands really see the value within experiential marketing. Um, not that there isn't value within traditional, but what can really be done creatively on even guerrilla style marketing and the experiential marketing, it's exciting because more and more dollars are getting put behind it. More and more um, creatives within the brands are seeing the value within that. And more and more artists and talent are seeing what can be done by teaming up with major brands and fans are getting excited about it because ultimately they're getting these awesome crazy experiences they've never gotten before. So I think it's really exciting to see as more and more money gets put into the space and those departments continue to grow and grow, um, what we can do as creatives and what this industry can do to continue to further that. I think we'll continue to see more and more out of the box ideas that really push the needle and create some really awesome experiences. My work life and my personal life blend a lot, which is amazing. I think I have uh, some unique hobbies, things that I really enjoy that have gotten to blend into work, which has been a really cool experience. I see Mirrored Media becoming the premier experiential marketing firm within the space. Um, really climbing to be the most creative agency within experiential marketing and working with some of the largest and most creative clients.